Fulton, what grade are you in, or going to be in? Um, first grade. Okay. Uh, and what school? LPS. Oh. Who, who's, your, who's your teacher? Or who was your teacher this year? Miss McGillis. Okay, I know her. Uh, did you go into class or was it online? Um, go into class. <laughs> yeah. So, so tell me, tell me about that day and, and what you did. Can you explain? And she, uh, when like no one in the hot tub. I tried to um, get her out of the hot tub, but she was too heavy, so I told mom. How long was she there, and did you? I think I like maybe a minute and a half. Okay, but you knew she was in trouble. Mm -hmm. How did you know she was in trouble? She couldn't get out of it. <laughs> she was, and she was younger. And, and she was two when she did that. And two year olds don't usually know how to swim. Yeah. Do you know how to swim? Yes. Good. A little bit. A little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you get down in the tub with her and get her out, or did you pull her out? I tried to, but she was too heavy, so I told her. Okay. Um, did that take a long time to get your mom out there? She was standing kind of, um, a little close. She was um, putting some block on her. Okay. Do, do you always wear sunscreen when you're... Um, hey, what, what kind of day was this? Was this a nice sunny day or was it in the evening? A sunny day. Okay. Yeah. Um, were you still in school when this happened? Were you still in school when this happened? So this was since you were out last week? Uh, it was last summer. Okay. So it was last summer. Uh, hey, well, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Good luck with school next year. So you had a student uh, that's uh, done something really, really cool. Tell me about it. Can you tell me about him? Um, Holden, I had him in kindergarten this year and he is just an awesome, remarkable student, always kind and caring to his friends, and so I can't, this isn't something that surprises me that he's so, um, saved his cousin, I guess. Um, I don't know, what else do you want to know? Well, uh, I don't know. I noticed over here he's really being shy, yeah. and uh, nervous about all this. Uh, what was he like after he went back to school that, and you found out what he had done? Um, well, this happened last summer before I had him, but he is that kind of a thoughtful type of person, so he was like that in class as well, kind of somewhat more reserved, watching, learning, um, and so that his behavior now isn't any different maybe than what I would typically see on a daily basis. Okay, so what we see is all we do Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's very, very bright, smart kid. Very, very modest about him. Yes, yes. A very modest person. He's super creative. He loves to draw. He's an amazing artist. Um, I would probably say in kindergarten he liked everything. Um, did really well with reading. Came so far this year. And but I would just probably say more of the creative side. Maybe like the science technology type area. Yeah. Hey, thanks a bunch. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you. It was a very emotional day for him. He. Uh, it was. It was. Uh, it was very hard for him. He had a hard time getting over that. He, he struggled with it for a couple of days after that and hardly talked about it. But it was it was a big emotional day. He looked back and saw his cousin floating in the hot tub and tried to get her out. He couldn't 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 get her out. And he ran for help right away and got back. And but he, he had to watch him load her in an ambulance and take her off and off in a helicopter they went. So it was very emotional. But uh, anyway, but he's he's done just fine. He's, we've been very proud of him how well he's done. Tell me about holding out of the hot tub. What's he like? Oh, he's just a sweet little boy. He's such a, such a nice little boy. He's very kind, very loving, very gentle, very, very caring, very, very caring child. So very nice. Um, hey, thanks and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Magnolia and her mom and dad come up here and join us. The rest of you, if you'd like to take some seats. Who is this? I know 
Chief Hot Uber. I welcome everyone to the Loveland Sims Fire Department. This is our station 61. We're taking time tonight to recognize a very special young man and a very special young lady uh, who were involved in a situation that ended up having a very positive outcome. So often in our line of work, we are unable to do what we want to do. We don't always succeed, although we try so hard. And some of the things that help us succeed is when the public, when citizens, including little citizens, know what to do when they see something wrong. The first line, of, the first way of saving any life when someone's in trouble is to dial what number? What number do you dial when you need help? 911, right? We dial 911. But by the time 911 gets there, it's a critical couple of minutes. And that can be the difference in saving a life or not saving a life. On June 29th in 2020, these families were on vacation. And as almost all parents know, keeping an eye on the kids is no easy task. And that particular day, when the parents were doing something else for safety, putting sunblock on kids, for a mere second, one child got out of their eye. And it happens too frequently. So Magnolia decided she wanted to become a swimming expert and wandered her way into the part of the pool while the parents were doing what parents do. And anyone who has kids know it can take just a split second. So fortunately, there was a little young man, a little hero in the pool named Holden. And he wasn't playing video games, and he wasn't staring into the sun, and he wasn't talking. He was just looking around, paying attention. And he noticed that Magnolia was in trouble, serious trouble. She was in the water, she was not breathing. Holton immediately called the attention of the parents. The parents responded and they were able to get little Magnolia out of the water. They started CPR mouth to mouth, activated the 911 system which, by the way, whereas in Sims Township in Loveland, we're right down the street for most of, almost everybody. When you're on vacation in the mountains, there's not always help down the street. So there were a number of factors that were against the potential of saving a life. So if it weren't for Holden, who knows what would have happened. But he was alert, he was awake, he paid attention, he covered for the parents, and a helicopter arrived after the paramedics did. Do you remember going for a helicopter ride? <laughs> and it was some very tense moments. Uh, when they got, when she got to the hospital, she was revived, resuscitated, and sent home the next day. A true wonderful story. So let's first give a big round of applause for Holden. We take a lot of pride at the Loveland Sims Fire Department of our interaction with our community. We are immersed 
in our community. There are rare events in our community that you will not find our members involved in. We also take an opportunity when we can to share a story with this so other parents can learn and be reminded how critical it is. And we've all, I, I, I've, got, I've, got three, I've got five kids, I've got six grandkids. We all have that oh my gosh moment. So this is a wonderful opportunity for some public education as we start the summer season, as the weather, I guess it's gonna maybe warm up and we'll actually be able to go swimming soon that there has to always be a parent who's the designated watcher. Maybe I'll do it for a half hour, and then you've got the next half hour, and then you've got it, but one parent or one adult who's sober, not distracted, no cell phones, no books, their only job is to watch the kids, right? That's it. And it's a family affair. Everyone can be involved in doing that. And that is what we were talking earlier with some members, our friends from the media. If we have one message tonight, it is critical to make sure to ask the question, who's watching the kids? And if they are, you put your phone down, you put your book down, you're not, you've not been drinking, you've not been partying, you have one mission, and that's to watch the kids. It's a big deal. And we're so thankful to your families for being with us tonight to share this story. So I'd like to ask Fire Chief Ott Huber, and Ken Bryant, who's uh, one of our Sims Township trustees, to please come up and join us for a very special presentation. On behalf of Sims Township residents, trustees, employees, and Loveland Sims Fire Department, I would like to present this Citizens Life Saving Award 2021 to Holden Patrick Smith. <laughs> so we have a little, uh, some little things that we'd like to give as well. Our little fire bear for you. Thank you. And especially for home, we'd like to make you an official Loveland Sims firefighter. I know it's going to be a little big for you, but we need to put this on you so that we can pin your, uh, your. <laughs> Like it. <laughs> we can pin the official life saving award. Hold this jack there, Mom, so the chief can put that award on there. <laughs> we are always looking for future firefighters. And here's our challenge coin for you. And we're very proud of you and glad that you were able to help out. Thank you. So on behalf of the uh, Sims Township Trustees and uh, Chief Huber and all the members of Lovell Sims Fire Department, we thank you for being here tonight. And again, our message is, when you're around water with kids, who's watching the kids? It's that simple. Thank you so much for joining us. The family, uh, Trustee Bryant, Chief Huber are here to speak with anyone, and uh, you're very welcome to enjoy yourself in our firehouse. Thanks very much.
Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we are. <laughs>